Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm super excited to be reviewing something that I've been waiting a long time to get to this cruiser. Um, now I've had it on for a few videos now, but I'm finally getting a chance to actually um, get some footage of it in action today. So um, today I'll be reviewing the Drifter Rooftop Tent, which is the 1.2 Drifter Stockton Wildland um, Hard Shell Rooftop Tent. Weighing only 57 kilos, this Drifter rooftop tent was easy to lift up with three of us and it took no time at all with a bit of Ellie's help. Once you've done everything up, obviously it's important to go around and just double check. Double check that everything's really tight. Um, do a couple rounds because you might get a little bit more in all of these. Just remember this is, you know, a rooftop tent on your roof rack. You don't want it to fall off. and. No, obviously just check that it's all stable and firm. Pretty good looking piece of equipment, I reckon. All right, so I've got my Drifter rooftop tent set up and we're about to see if I can fit a quilt set in here and still be able to shut it. Fingers crossed we can, because otherwise it's gonna be a lot of work for nothing. So I have here the Drifter um, electric blanket, which looks really nice and warm. Um, we've got a just your typical flannelette sheet in gray, which is your fitted sheet and your flat sheet and all that and then a quilt cover set and a wool quilt so hopefully it will be nice and warm because it is cold and raining and I'm camping tonight so yeah this will be interesting to see all right so it's a bit dark in here but I've got that woolen top sheet on here we got a flat sheet fitted sheet and electric blanket underneath with the cigarette lighter plug on this end that I have to wire up at some point now we get to see whether it's going to shut or not with all this under here. All right, so I've had to get up and, and put some weight on top of it. Um, but yeah, that shuts, shuts with ease. Perfect. And that shuts. Beautiful. That is set. Drift a tent with bedding inside and an electric blanket. So today um, I'm just going to set this up here in the backyard, um, just go through some of the um, features of it and then later in the video we're going to have a quick look at um, the camping trip that I've just gotten back from this weekend um, and have a live video of me um, shutting this tent up. I'll probably put a timer up just so you can see that it really takes like no time at all. Um, so yeah, but for now the first thing we want to look at um, is, well the first step to getting this tent set up which is the ladder. So. Um, yeah, you get this ladder here That's super easy to set up. It's got a velcro strap over it to stop it unfolding and then it literally just Lifts up like that um, And then it's got a couple of pegs you put in the top um, and I'll show you how to do that just now So you can see in the top of the ladder you've got um, a hole and a little a little peg and that goes in like that and just clicks in now quite simply we've got four of these latches, one, two, three, and four. So once you've undone your four latches, we're about 10 seconds in, takes no time at all. And then you just push that up like that. Now you grab the bar here. So there's a bar here and just pulls out like that. And there's a, just pops out. And then you've got, on either side, you've got to move these up. So you can sit up in the tent if that's easier. I've just pushed that button in. And then we just push this bar up here until it clicks. And you see it's clicked up into that there. Now, once you've done that, there's a spreader bar up here. So that what, that's what puts the tension on the roof. So just spread that out until it takes the slack. And you just push that over. Put that in, zip that up, and your tent is set up. Now that we've covered the basics, I want to take you on a little sneak peek into our camping trip. So we're going to top up the water tank, put the awning back on, fill up the cruiser, and head off to a camping spot that will remain nameless. You got 
some awesome matches. Yeah, I think so. That'd be nice. Can I have roast pork in here? Yeah. And veggies just gone in. I don't want Tegan and you both. Bit of a And after a gourmet camp breakfast the next morning, we got into packing up. So I'll put the timer up on the screen and you can have a look at just how easy it is to fold this rooftop tent up. I think the most impressive part of this setting up and packing up process is how manageable it is for just one person. And there you go, in not even a minute and a half, you've gone from completely set up to completely packed up. Simple. Why was that so satisfying to listen to? It's even more satisfying. Right? Oh, I've slept in this a couple of nights now um, and I find it really comfortable. It's quite spacious, you know, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm like six, six foot, six foot one. And yeah, I can spread out on this fully. I can sit up in it. Um, yeah, it's just a, it's quite a light material, but even like last night was quite cold, but I stayed quite warm in here. If you keep the, um, the hard top up against the weather and it'll keep the wind out pretty well. Um, so yeah, it's comfortable. I can see why you might choose to do the mattress upgrade. This mattress can be firm. Um, it's more like a swag mattress. So, you know, if you're used to a firmer mattress camping, then that's fine, that's good. Um, but I think if you were gonna sleep a few nights in a row, you'd probably want the, um, the mattress upgrade. Um, and I'm not sure how that goes with fitting bedding in here. I don't know if you can do that or not, um, but yeah. I know you can fit bedding in here just fine with the stock mattress, so that's good. We've got a light strip here, um, which is USB powered. We've got a bag up here, which I actually put like a power pack in at the moment to plug this in just until I um, hardwire some 12 volt power up here. Uh, we've got some accessory pockets here, up here. Um, then you've got windows with a fly mesh on this side, here and here. And you can actually open up the actual window if you want, like that. You've done well, Drifter. I'm bloody impressed with this rooftop tent, to say the least. I'll put a link to their website in the description below. Be sure to go check them out. They've got retailers all across Australia.
So I think that's about it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I appreciate your support heaps. Uh, please remember to tune back into the next video um, and go check out some old ones if you want. I uh, will see you guys next time.